Okay, what I have here is a, a bag of acorns. These were from live oaks. Mm -hmm. um, and live oaks have a lot of tannin in their acorns. Yeah. And that's sort of bitter. And we're going to process it by boiling the acorns. And the way I do it is I crack the acorns first. And then I put them in a pot, boil it, and I boil it a couple times, throwing the water away each time about 10 minutes. And then after that, the acorns are no longer bitter. And because we've split the acorns in half by cracking them, they come off the shells and we'll have like peanuts that we're eating because they're, they're almost the whole acorn. Oh. And so they really, they're really tasty after that. And, but they're a little mushy. You know, you could just eat the acorns after they're cooked, but I don't like them that way. I like to dry them out. Mm -hmm. I roast them. Oh, over the fire? Well, Bob, you're getting me to tell the truth. I've never done it over a fire. Oh, okay. I've done this at home. And so I tried this last week. I did it, uh, I boiled it in water on the stove mm -hmm. and then uh, roasted it in the oven afterwards. And they were so good. Okay. So I just split it, split them open like this, split them open. So why don't you split some? And then I have another nut splitter right here. Oh, that cracks nuts. Squirrel nut. Squirrel nut. And my mother-in-law gave this to me a few years ago because I'm always, t I like nuts and I take them away from the squirrels. So she thought this was cute. <laughs> Let's see how this guy, this works here. Oop. Ah! Oh, look! He broke a nut. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's start cracking. <laughs> Come on, this is going to be fun. Hey, I bet you want to know what this tastes like. You know, Bob will tell you the truth, because we're going to have it after dinner. What are we having for dinner tonight, Bob? Fajitas. Fajitas? Fajitas, yeah. Oh, fajitas. It'd be tasty. And salsa and avocado yeah. with acorn nuts. No, yeah. What a combination. Now, you can also take the acorn nuts and grind it into a meal and make sort of a corn meal or a, an acorn nut meal. And you can make uh, fruit bars out of it, nut bars. Mm -hmm. We could try that too later if we crack enough nuts. <laughs> Bob likes to crack nuts, you can tell. Yeah. Well, uh, how do I know if the acorns are good? They may have bugs in them. Yeah, some of them have bugs. The ones with bugs float when you boil them. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can either eat them with the bugs in them or not. Some people consider the insects a delicacy. Oh. And I understand that they're sweeter. And so if there are grubs in the insects, or grubs in the, in the acorns, you can eat the, the grubs and you don't even have to boil them first. Well, I don't want... <laughs> Dead insects well, in my, I'll tell you what. Tummy. <laughs> when when we when we cooked <laughs> when we cooked these up, no, honestly, but when we cook these up, uh, we'll take away any of the acorns that are floating, so okay. that you don't have bugs inside. All right. <laughs> you don't. You don't. You know, he doesn't look too sure. <laughs> yeah. We will see how these come out later on. Now this is a way, a fun way to relax, right before dinner. Yeah, it is. Did, to crack nuts next to the campfire. You know, the sun's getting low in the sky. We are gonna have to finish this before it gets dark. I wanna show everybody. I think there are a few acorns in here that are floating. You see that, Bob, that I one there? That. Yeah. See those floating? Those yeah. floating ones probably have um, insects in them, grubs or something. And so you wanna take those out? Sure, I'll take them out. You, you don't wanna eat them. You're going to give them back to the squirrels? Yeah, they'll eat them. Okay, so these are the ones with grubs because they were floating. The interesting thing, when I was gathering the acorns, mm -hmm. you know, the squirrels came up to me and they just stared at me. Yeah, you're taking their food away from them. A couple more minutes and then I change the water. Okay, that's been simmering enough. I'm gonna do the first water change. Okay, the water was brown when I uh, changed it. So now we'll add some fresh water. 
I'm going to change the water at least three times. Bob, I boiled the nuts three times and then drain the water and then put them in the pan and then when they slowly dry they'll be really tasty and we can we can salt them if we want okay but i like them dried because they the flavor comes through a little bit more to me so we'll just dry them on here maybe in about 15 20 minutes we'll be ready to eat do we need to turn them over yeah we should probably turn them over i want to make sure that they're dry enough oh, okay The acorns are all processed. Don't they look good? They look good. Okay, put a little salt on them. What else? Do you want any curry, cayenne pepper, garlic salt, black pepper? Yeah, I think salt is good enough. Okay. You know, Bob, when I uh, do these videos with Bear, he always takes the first bite. Oh, okay. You want to take the first bite? So I'm on the first one, they're going to get sick. <laughs> no, nobody, look, 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 we'll both eat it together, okay? Yeah, I've this got mine. I this one is not uh, opened okay, here, up. Here's one, here's that one, okay. This one's open. That's good, That's it's good. sweet, it's nutty-like. I can put a little more salt on it. This one doesn't come out as easily. Here, take this one. That's good. Hey, wait. This is a whole nut. A whole acorn. A whole acorn for Bob. Come on, come on. You can be a squirrel. Mm-mm. It's good. It's good? I Thumbs can, up. I can see why the squirrels like it. It's pretty good. So, the tannins are all out. It's sweet. This is really good. I'm gonna eat a whole one too. <laughs> Look guys, you gotta try this. Acorns were the staple diet of Native Americans. And they're really good. They don't take very much processing. If they have more tannins in them, if the type of acorn that you're cooking has more tannins, boil it a little longer to get the tannins out. And um, they're, they're, it's really worth it, really worth it. It's not bad, pretty good. This is such a beautiful place. I love it here. Can you imagine what it must have been like hundreds of years ago when the Native Americans lived here, living off the land? They had a tough life. Long before arrival of Europeans in the 1800s, this area was a grassland savanna with large herds of bison and antelope. I was a young oak tree at that time. Hundreds of years have passed and I am now very old. Around me are my offspring, along with pecan, persimmon, and walnut trees. We provide shelter and food for squirrels, jays, turkeys, deer, and many other animals. Some people call me a keystone species since I play a critical role in maintaining the ecological community. The seasons are changing and I must get back to work. When you are ready to go, please leave my home as you found it. Until next time, may the forest be with you. Do you think this is an Indian marker tree? It 
very well could be. You know, the Native Americans bent trees like this to show where the trails are. 